I'm Christy Thornton. I'm an assistant professor of sociology and Latin American studies at Johns Hopkins University. Um, and I think what makes the Paris Peace Conference such an enduring topic of study is that we continue to live with many of the same questions that really animated the people who tried to get together here in Paris in 1919 to solve global problems. So one of the important things about Paris in 1919 was the extent to which um, it has an unresolved contradiction about equality between the nations of the world and hierarchy between those nations. And so many of the continuing global conflicts that we see come from that kind of unresolved tension between the more powerful and the less powerful, the kind of economic and political and social prerogatives of the great powers over much of the formerly colonized world. And so I think today, here, over these few days of the conference, that's one of the things that we've really been very much exploring, is asking the question from multiple perspectives, from all over the world, how do we continue to understand those questions of global cooperation and global competition, and how might we productively resolve some of those ongoing tensions? So I think that that continues to be a really important contemporary problem, and it's one that we look to history, we look to the past, we look at the ways in which actors in previous times tried to answer these questions in order to get um, lessons, solutions, hope for the problems that continue to plague us today.